Once we finished with our flower mosaic and we filled in all the different parts, all my flowers are filled in, my vase is filled in, and I can't see too much of my pencil marks, then I'm ready to frame it. So what I need is two short pieces of brown paper and two long pieces of brown paper. And on these, I'm going to go ahead and just put a few dots of glue. I'm not putting too much, just some dots all the way across like that. If I have too much, it might end up sort of squeezing out the sides and we don't want to make a mess. Then I'm going to go ahead and line it up with the top. If you can see some white, it means you're not close enough. So I'm going to move it up until it totally blocks that white area. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom here. So I'm just going to put a few dots going across on this one. Maybe I'll just do four. And then I'm going to place it across the bottom. And again, I don't want any of the tablecloth color to show. So I'm going to move that down all the way to the end until I can't see that anymore. Once I have the top and the bottom, I can go ahead and do the sides of my picture frame. So I'm just going to add a few dots going all the way down. This long piece might just have five dots of glue. And then I'm going to place the long pieces on the long sides. And I wanna make sure that I'm covering everything so that you can't see part of the, of the picture underneath. Press it down. And then I can do the same thing with the last side. So again, just a few dots of glue going all the way across. And then I can do that right here with this last piece. And I've got a beautiful little picture frame. Now, once I have this picture frame, if I have some extra time, I can even decorate it a little bit. So I have a few squares of paper here. And since we've already learned how to make some shapes out of squares, I could make some easy ones. For example, I could make a ladybug out of this one just by making a circle shape. So I'm gonna bend down all four corners here. I'm going to cut on the fold. So I cut off all four of these little corners. And now we have something that's shaped a little bit like an octagon. And like we said before, if we give it a little haircut, then it becomes more circle shaped. So all these little corners that stick out, I'm just cutting off those tiny little pieces. And the more I cut them off, the more it begins to look like a circle. Now with this piece, I'm just going to cut it down the middle to create two wings of a ladybug like this. And I can just create the body underneath by taking the same shape, cutting off my corners again, and giving it a little haircut as well to make it a little bit more rounded. So I could just attach a ladybug right here and glue that on. I could even use maybe one of these corners for a head so I can maybe cut off the top here and cut the two sides. So he has a little head sticking out here. So I'll go ahead and glue that piece down. Like this. Glue this piece right here. And then put each of my wings on here like this. And then maybe with one of my tracing markers, give them some antennas and some dots. I could also make a butterfly shape. And for the butterfly shape, what I can do is fold this in half like this. And then you'll notice that one side opens and the other side is folded. So the folded side goes in my left hand, the one that makes an L here. And then what I'm going to do is draw the letter three, or the number three, sorry. So on the folded side, it has to be the side that doesn't open. I'm going to draw a big three, like this. And once I draw that three, then all I have to do is keep it folded and cut on that line all the way around. And when I open it, I will have a nice butterfly shape that I can add somewhere else on my portrait. 
And then I can just use any other scraps that I have to sort of add details to it. I could give it a little body here. I could also make a little head with antenna. You can be creative with that step. You can decorate your picture frame to add your little final touches to it.